Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me for this Baker's Dozen box of cards featuring the What a Year Memories and More card pack. In your kit, you will find all of your cards, the 4x6s, 3x4s, and then you'll have four sticker sheets of cardstock stickers. You should have a full roll of the Pool Party striped grogan ribbon. You have a pack of your bits and pieces uh, for the layers on your cards, a sheet of big dimensionals, You'll have your card bases. You'll have uh, two pieces here to create the box. And then you should have a full pack of the Artistry Blooms adhesive back sequins. So lots of fun stuff. Really good project for beginners. There's no stamping in this one. I know that's so strange to say for me, but um, things you're gonna need will be some scissors, your take your pick tool, a bone folder, and your favorite adhesive. So let's get started. Alrighty, card number one. We're gonna start with this, it has a polished pink card base, and you're gonna pull out the large four by six card that has the rainbows and clouds and little raindrops on it. And then you'll want your little three by four card that says always. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to get for this one is you're gonna want one of your little cardstock sticker sheets. We're gonna get this one that has the little labels on it. We're gonna use this love you so little pool party color right there. I'll set that aside. So let's go ahead and start creating our card. Now, our card base, as always, is five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm gonna just fold this in the center. You could score it if you would like. Some people prefer to do it themselves. So we give you the opportunity to do it. <laughs> so four and a quarter in the half, in half. So there we have our card base. Now, since all of these large cards are four by six, when we're using them on um, a card front, obviously they have to be cut down. So since they're already four inches, which is the size we want, we're going to then need to cut off a little off the end. And we want it to be um, five and a quarter. So I'll go over here, turn a little bit off. There. So five, four by five and a quarter is gonna be for our card front, right? here like so and then we're going to need to cut our little three by four down if you look at the one here that i have on the front this is actually a two and a half by three so we're just going to cut this down to a two and a half inch width that um, or two and a half inch height with that always kind of in the center so you just kind of eyeball it that's all i do flip it around two and a half go easy peasy and then we're going to assemble so we're going to take our card base or sorry our card front and I'm going to put some adhesive on the left and right because we want to put our little ribbon strip across the front so it's going to be um, a little bit lower than half maybe just a touch lower than half across the center like so, trim that off, and then this is going to go on your card flat. Well, hopefully if it's straight. <laughs> Straighten that out just a touch. Oops. There we go, much better. All right. Now, let's put some adhesive on the back of this, and we will glue this on to our card base. All right, beautiful color coordination. Love it, love it, just like so. Okay, now, our little always piece here is going to be adhered with dimensionals over towards the right-hand side. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on here one in each corner and glue this over top of our ribbon there we go like so right about there okay you want to leave yourself enough space on the left hand side to do your knot our ribbon in and just do a little knot over here on the left. 
I usually tie mine twice. You can do a bow if you'd rather, but this is how I do mine. All right, and then we'll trim off our edges, a little angle. Okay, and then we're going to put some sequins on. So I'm gonna use, oops, hold on. I'm gonna use this yellow color. They kind of take on different different colors when you take them apart. Um, I'm gonna use this yellow color, and I'm gonna do three of them. I'm gonna do a big one down here, and a little one. Usually try to do an odd number. It just is more pleasing to the eye. And then I'll do another one up here. I'm gonna peel off my little card strip up here. And it's all sticky, so you can glue it flat if you would like. I popped mine up on dimensionals. I'm gonna use a couple of little mini dimensionals on this one. If you wanna get the sticky off the back of your, um, your sticker, you can always put a little bit of baby powder on there. Or if you have a, an embossing buddy, that little um, little bag of powder that we use for embossing, you can always just pat it a couple times with that and it takes the sticky off so you don't have to worry. But I don't mind because I'm popping it up anyway. So I'll put this over here and we are done with card number one. Ta-da! Now on to card number two. Okie doke, card number two is gonna be on a thick basic white card base. So I'm gonna just fold this in half. Again, all these card bases are all the same size. So you can um, just fold them all in half and have them all ready to go. You can score them all however you like to do. All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna pull in my uh, four by six cards and find my celebrate card such pretty colors in here. You could do so many other things with these cards. They're, you know, meant for scrapbooking, memory keeping, but <clears throat> they definitely, oh, we'll need that one later. <laughs> Might as well pull it down. Um, but making cards out of them makes life so easy. That's what I'm using mine for most of the time. Okay, again, this one's four by six and we need it to be five by a uh, five and a fourth. So I'm gonna go in and I am going to trim off the end and then trim the other end. There we go. Mine's a little off, but that's okay because I'm putting a bunch of rhinestones over there, so. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with our ribbon on this one. We'll put some adhesive on the back. Get our ribbon, do our little wrap. This one's gonna be maybe three quarters of an inch down from the celebrate word. And then we will <clears throat> trim that off. And then I'm gonna adhere this one flat. Put some adhesive all the way around. Oops. And glue this to the card front. Oops. These four by sixes are such a godsend. I love when I gotta make a quick card. These are perfect. Okay, this one we're gonna do a little knot over here on the left hand side. one down. Like that. And we'll do it this way. Usually right over left, left over right is the rule of thumb, but if I remember to do that, that's good. If not, <laughs> it is what it is, but that makes a better flatter knot if you do it that way. Oops, scooched it down. There we go, so let's trim this guy off. Now this one I will go in and put a glue dot underneath my knot. There we go. Just to keep that in place. Oop, you didn't want to come off. 
There we go. Put that under the knot there. And then we're just gonna sprinkle some sequins on. And on this one, I think I used a little bit of everything just because there's so many rainbow, rainbow colors in there. So we'll just go in with a few. It's nice having this open space up here, actually. I kind of love that. <laughs> Should have done that on purpose. There we go. Happy accidents, right? All right, so I'm gonna get a blue down here. I love this color. I don't know what color this is supposed to be, but it's really pretty. Really pretty. So, and then one more blue. Over here. And then we'll go back and grab our little cardstock stickers. And we're going to use this little today. And again, we'll put our mini dimensionals on here, just two. And we will pop this up. And it's going to kind of go right over the top edge of that ribbon. We'll put this over here so it kind of tucks right in there, like so. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna trim these just a little, it's gonna bug me. <laughs> there we go, okay. Card number two complete. Alrighty, let's move on to card number three. Alrighty, card number three. That is this classic, classic little card. I, I love this because I'm queen of adding more and more and more and I love the simplicity of this. So on this one you're going to need your uh, piece of basic black that is cut in your pieces kit. You're going to need the you and me card. You'll need the little black heart and you need a basic white card base. Now <laughs> let me tell you this card the you and me is cut down to three and three fourths by five. I was in mode just in the groove and I cut mine smaller. So you're going to see how it looks cut a little smaller. <laughs> it happens. But we always say mistakes are just an opportunity or a creative opportunity actually. So that's okay. So you'll see two ways to do it. All right there's our card base. Like I said really simplistic but really striking with these two colors against the white. So I'm just going to glue down your five and a quarter by four piece of basic black card front. Then your um, card from Memories and More. <laughs> you can cut it with a large border or a small border. I like it both ways actually. Kind of like the way the black over here makes it pop with the wider border, so happy accident. And then our little heart will get popped up on a dimensional, like so, and then, oops, it's a little far down, little dimensionals getting in the way, let's scooch down just a tad, there we go, and then we're going to add one little sequence on our heart right over here I believe right there there we go so there you have two versions of card number three all right off to card number four all right card number four on this one we're going to be using um, two different cards from memories and more we're going to be using this one with the pool party with the white dashes and we're going to be using life is beautiful you're going to pull out your basic gray matte piece, your two hearts here, one out of basic gray and one out of pool party, your white card base, and then I noticed when the card kits were assembled, um, these weren't included. So this is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white cardstock. So hopefully you have some white cardstock. If not, you don't have to sweat it because it works perfectly fine with this on the front too. So no worries. Okay, so if you have your piece, we're going to adhere this um, 
piece of the memory gym, actually the whole memory gym more three by four card down here at the bottom. And if you don't have it, you're just gonna skip and start the ribbon section next, okay? So no worries. Just have one less one less layer there. Okie doke. I'm not sweating the small stuff these these days. <laughs> okay, for this one we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna put some adhesive on the sides because our ribbon is going to wrap around at the top of this card. So I'm going to bring it around and just tack it there on the back on both sides like that. And then this will get adhered flat to our card base right there. All right. set that aside. I'm going to bring in our basic gray mat and our Memories and More card. So the Memories and More cards are either 3x4 or 4x6, so that makes the mat sizes really easy to remember because they're all a quarter inch larger on both dimensions. So this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and this will be adhered flat right to that mat piece, okay? So beautiful. This will get popped up on top of our ribbon. So let's put this, and I'm going to put one on kind of on either side of where that ribbon would be just to hold it down. You don't have to. You could always put a little piece of tape or some adhesive under there, but it's nice to have a little bit of security underneath there. Okay, so this will go right here in the center, like so. And then we'll bring in our two hearts. Now the pool party heart is gonna get adhered flat to the basic gray heart. And then the basic gray is going to get popped up on dimensionals. bring in one of our blue sequins here at the top. I'm going to use a large one over here on the right hand side. And we'll bring in our ribbon. I'm just going to thread this down through the side over here. Hopefully. There it is. <laughs> bring it down. Right over our left. better at bows than I am at knots. Isn't that strange? <laughs> All right, there you have it. Card number four, complete. Let's move on. Okie doke, card number five. We're almost halfway done. So we're going to use a Poppy Parade card base for this one. And again, it's the same measurement, five and a half by eight and a half. Forward in the middle at four and a quarter. Just fold that and score it. I love Poppy Parade, one of my favorite colors. Then you should have in your pack a 4x6 with this kind of a, I don't know what that is, kind of a diamond dashed pattern, I guess. <laughs> we'll go with that. And then you'll have another 4x6 that has this little bumblebee uh, colored yellow in the back with those little dashes on the diagonal. We're going to use that. 
and you'll need one of your three by four cards, the one that says, you make me happy. And you should have a little die cut yellow heart in your kit. So we're gonna bring in our trimmer. And I'm just gonna take my um, four by six of this bumblebee color, and I'm gonna cut off a three quarter inch strip. And that's gonna be across the middle of our card. <clears throat> And then this piece is going to cover the front. So this again will be four by five and a fourth. So we just need to cut the five and a fourth. Like so. Now I save my little strips like this because sometimes I decorate the inside of my cards with them. So just, just an option for you. <clears throat> so this will be adhered flat to our card front. Tone on tone is actually very stunning. It really is. Then our little three quarter inch strip is going to go right across the middle. Nice thing about this Memories and More cards too is since they're all standard sizes and they, you know, coordinate your half of your work is already done, which is great. There we go. Okay, now. The You Make My Heart Happy card. This is three by four. Ooh, look at how pretty. See, it's hard to choose the side. We're gonna pop this one up with dimensionals. One, two, three. I mean, I would be so excited to get this in the mail. I think it's such a cute little card. I love it. This will go right here in the center. And then we'll pop up our little bumblebee colored heart. Right there. Over here. And then we're going to put some sequins on. So this one will get a little yellow one over here. And we're going to use a couple of these guys over here at the top. These are that orangey, orangey color which go great with this poppy parade. All right, there you go. Woohoo! Card number five, done. Check. Let's move on to card number six. Alrighty, card number six. Love this card. This is Pool Party. This is Pool Party Base. And then we're going to use two of the three by four cards. You're going to want to pull out the one with these um, stripes that have the bumblebee and pool party basic gray and smoky slate in there and then you're going to want to pull the hi there uh, card out and we're going to use a flower from one of our cardstock stickers this one right here so let's start with our card base and then we're going to take our hi there card and we're going to do a little wrap towards the top Let me move this over so you guys can see towards the top maybe half inch down maybe you have a little bit of wiggle room there because it's a it's a pretty good size space above the, the wording Pull that over like that and then I'm gonna pop this striped piece on here in the center right there and this will go on flat oops right here in the center and then oops <laughs> how about we do it horizontally that would be good hmm. oh. Sorry. <laughs> we'll do it this way this time. <laughs> fun, fun. There we go. Okay. We'll use our adhesive eraser. There we go. It happens, right? Okay, now we're going to pop up this Hi There card with dimensionals. Oops. I'm going to kind of 
tack it on top of that ribbon just a tad there. So gives it a little staying power. Like so. And this will go right over top right here. And here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna do my little cardstock sticker down here. And we're just gonna do this one on a dimensional. Right in the center. Like that. And then I'm gonna tie a bow to put up here in the center of my little wrap. This ribbon is so beautiful for tying bows. You know, some, some ribbons aren't really bow friendly, but this one definitely is. This grow grain is top notch. There we go. Or if you're not comfortable tying a bow, you could always just do a knot there. You don't have to do a bow. Like that. And trim off your ends. And this is going to be adhered with a glue dot. Oops. Put this right about here. And then I'll just put our little bow on there. Oh, that looks so pretty. Love those colors. Okay, and then we're going to bring in a couple of the blue sequins. We'll put these down here towards the left side. Put a big one there. No, oops, a little guy over here. She flips upside down. Come here, guy. Right about there. And then I'm going to put a little yellow one for this, or a large yellow one for the center of my flower. Right there. All right. Card number six. On to card number seven. Okie dokes, card number seven, here we go. So this one has the gorgeous, I love this card because I love the way they did the font with the rainbow colors there. It says enjoying every moment. So you're gonna want that four by six card and we're gonna trim that down. You're gonna want your cardstock stickers because we're gonna use these two little flowers here. You need your pool party mat for your card base and the card base is basic white. So we're first going to adhere or cut down or enjoy every moment card to fit onto the mat. So again, this will be five and a quarter by four. Five and a quarter by four. party and this will be adhered flat to the mat. Oh I didn't cut it down. I'm sorry this is three and three quarters. Sorry sorry. Let's try. Three and three quarters. Three quarters by five. <laughs> three and three quarters by five, Michelle. Dun, 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 dun. Keeping it real, people. Keeping it real. Here we go. Let's try it again. Oh, much better. Three and three quarters by five. Cut yours down. Not like I did. <laughs> All right, so now we'll take our adhesive. We're going to put all of these ribbon and the and the knot towards the bottom, wrapped around the back side with some adhesive. See, a lot of people would do this as a blooper reel. Not me. <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pop this up on the card base with some dimensionals. 
and we will build on top of it. Although blooper reels would be pretty funny. Do a little knot over towards the right side this time. can see how quickly a whole box of cards comes together. I mean, is this just not the best? I mean, what a fabulous accomplishment in not a lot of time. There we go. Let me turn that a little sharper. There we go. All right, so we're going to bring in our two little flowers from our cardstock pack, or our cardstock stickers, I mean there and over there okay and then we'll bring in our sequin so let's bring in these little orange ones and we'll put centers on our little flowers over here and then do two over here one above the e and one big one below the V. Like so. There you go. Card number seven. All right, let's move on. Card number eight. So card number eight is this bright, sunshiny, just a cheerful card. So we're gonna pull out another basic white card base. Right here, I have that already scored. Then you're gonna pull out your bumblebee mat. It's gonna go on top of that. And then the Hello Sunshine card, I cut down so it's three and a half by five. So you'd cut a quarter inch off the top, a quarter inch off the bottom, and a half inch off each side. So that's going to go on there just like that. And you're going to need your cardstock stickers again. We're going to use these four little hearts down here and some sequins. Easy peasy card, but this is, it packs a punch. It really does. It's such a cheerful card. This would be great for, um when uh, churches have card ministries, these would be perfect for that. Girl Scouts who need projects to do, perfect for that. Really, really fun, quick cards, but they pack a punch. So remember the memories and more, don't forget about them. They get lost sometimes in that catalog, but you wanna keep your eye out because they're always coming out with new ones. When we get new catalogs, you'll see one, sometimes two new kits and they are the best. Really economical too. All right, this will go in the center right here. And you'll notice with this one, it's supposed to have more room at the top and bottom. So don't think you're, you cut it wrong. It's, it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> Get a little cardstock sticker. And I'll put a couple dimensionals on the back. And this will go right down here in the middle. Like that. And we'll just bring in some sequin. Bring in the little orange guys here. Put one over here. And then we'll do two at the top. One is there. And one over and you can put more as you like. You can sprinkle them everywhere, but it's just a really easy way to add a little bit of bling to your card. So there's card number eight. Easy peasy, but packs a punch, like I said. All right, card number nine coming up. 
Okay, card number nine. It's this little beauty here with these pool party flowers. A little bit of smoky slate in there. I love that with that bumblebee color. Of course, you guys all know that I love some some um, gingham and some plaids. So, really pretty. So, we're going to use another thick basic white card base. And then we have our mat that's pool party. It's going to go next. We'll go ahead and assemble as we go. Give you the lay of the land. This will go here in the center, straight across. This is one of the three by fours. Oh, look at that little bunny. Perfect for an Easter card or scrapbook. It's always hard to use. <laughs> have to make one side face down with glue on it, isn't it? Hard to choose. There's that. And then our three by four with the florals on it is gonna be matted on this piece of three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, basic white. Mm. There we go. Oops. And then this one will get popped up on dimensionals. Aren't you glad you got a whole sheet in your kit? <laughs> we use them, don't we? One of my favorite. I guess tools, definitely. Just makes such a difference, having that dimension. All right, so this will get popped up right here in the center. And look how the colors just coordinate. It's just magical, like that. Now I took a piece of my pool party ribbon and I just tied a knot. And this knot, it's a double knot. The knot's gonna get adhered on the flower stem down here with a glue dot, like so. Like that. And then we're going to add three of the blue sequins to give it a little sparkle. There we go. Now this one's kind of cool because you can go back and add whatever sentiment you need a card for. So you could add a sentiment over here on a little strip of um, cardstock, or you could wait and put a sentiment on the inside. So really versatile card here. So that is card number nine. On to card number 10. Alrighty, card number 10. So we're gonna need a Poppy Parade card base for this one. You'll need that leftover piece of the Bumblebee um, card that we cut that strip off of. We're gonna use the rest of that for the mat on the front of our card, it works perfectly. Then you'll have a mat for your card on the front out of Poppy Parade. It's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then this stinking cute little cactus. How happy is that? And you're gonna want this one that says smile, smile, smile. And we're gonna cut our sentiment out of that. We're just gonna fussy cut it out. So let's assemble. This is a really bright and cheery one also. I love this. Just to brighten someone's day. I'm gonna put this on the front here. I love how the bumblebee and the poppy parade absolutely work together. It's just like they were made to go together. All right, so this uh, little card is gonna be adhered flat to the mat. And then we're gonna pop the whole thing up on our card front. All right, let's go here and here. This will go right about here. Fits perfectly. All right, so for the little smile, 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 I'm just gonna go in with my paper snips. And you don't have to be really precise about it. You can just kind of wiggle your scissors. Whoops, let me cut that off. Make it easier. Wiggle your scissors around the letters. It doesn't have to be right around, specifically around those letter letters. I just want to have a little, little bit of color around them. Paper snips are the best. I always work better when I have less hanging off the edge. <laughs> All right, so there is 
my smile. I'll just trim that little sharp piece off there. There we go. All right, and then this will be adhered right to the front of our little cactus flower pot. Add a little angle over here. Cute. And then we'll bring in a large one of these purple ones. It looks like kind of a rich, uh, rich razzleberry, but that's what it is. And then, where are my yellows? Here they are. I use a little one down here. And then a large yellow down here on the left. And there you have it. Card number 10. Three to go. Can you believe it? All right, here we go. All righty, card number 11. Look at this beauty. So cheerful. This is What an Amazing Day, and the card in the back is one of the four by sixes, and this is polished pink, so that's our little highlight color there. So we're gonna use a three by four Memories and More card with a polished pink background there, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And our um, gingham here in the back, or the plaid, is gonna be four by five and a quarter. All right, so let's glue our background on. House will go on the mat piece flat. Right here. All right, and this will get popped up. There we go. And now you're going to want to get your card stick stick cardstock stickers out again because we're going to use this little circle here you have so many in there that are cute to just kind of embellish you could even use them on the inside of your card you could do them on envelopes they're so cute so we're going to use this one that says what an amazing day so i'm going to pop this one up and this will go over here on the right side of our house right about there and then we're gonna put some sequins on. So I'm gonna start with a yellow one here in the top left and an orange to the side of it. Right, right there. And then we'll bring in a little rich razzleberry down here for a little contrast. There we go. All right, 11 cards down, two to go. All right, card number 12. So this is pretty simple. This was a basic white thick cardstock card base. Then we have one of our uh, four by six memories and more cards, and you're gonna need your cardstock stickers. Now, I did notice when I pulled my kit out, mine doesn't have this little poppy parade circle, so I'll show you how I got around that in case yours is missing that also. And we're gonna use a little bit of that ribbon. So let's cut our card down to five and a quarter by four. Like that. And then we're gonna do our ribbon first before we glue it down. So let's put some adhesive down there. And I'm going to do it across the center of that circle, like so. Like I said, yours may or may not be missing that piece. I, I don't know. I didn't put this together, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. So then this is gonna go on here flat. Oops. Right here. All right. And then, the knot to the left of the 
the circle. going to do with mine, I thought it would be an option if I put one of the Poppy Parade circles. I'm going to see if this works. If this doesn't work, we'll back up and punt. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this so it has a little bit of a highlight to it right there. Oops, a little crooked. Oh, oops, now it's crooked the other way. Right there. And then I thought what we could do is, where did it go? Oh, right in front of me. Then we could pop up this flower right over here so it kind of completes it. So see, I'm making beautiful, tasty lemonade out of lemons, right? <laughs> kind of like that better actually. All right, that goes there and then we put a center in that flower. So I use one of our yellow ones. Um, yeah, maybe I like this. this one better. Oh uh, yeah, that looks beautiful right there. And there you have card number 12. All righty, one more, you're almost there. Hanged, oops, I forgot to put my sequins. Somebody, I can hear somebody saying, hey, wait. <laughs> Let me put my other sequins on here. Then we'll be done. Okay. Raspberry and blue. And then another raspberry down here. All right. Now we're done. All right. Now let's move on to the last one. Here we go. All right. And last but not least, we're going to do this beauty and polished pink with the hooray on there. Um, you're going to use the large card from your 4x6 pack. It has those bumblebee and um, basic gray little dots on there. So this one is five and a quarter by four. That'll be your card front. Then you should have a card mat for your memories and more card. And this one's basic gray, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So those will get layered together. And then you're going to need your ribbon and some sequins. So let's go ahead and take our card. I think you know how to do this part by now. <laughs> oh, let me move that off there so you can see. So we're going to go around the center horizontally of our card, like so. Like that. And then this will get it geared flat to card front. Get down to the end of my adhesive here. <laughs> Might have to switch. Oh, yep, I think that's the end. No worries. Alrighty, so there's a card front. Now we're going to take our Memories and More card, and this will get adhered flat to the basic gray matte piece there. This will get popped up. Oops, not quite the middle. Um, this will get popped up over that center ribbon. So four corners, and then I'm gonna put two kind of on either side of that ribbon. All right, you guys have done so well. It's nice to be able to. To stop the video and go back and you know you don't have to rush there we go right about there now I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to tie a knot over to the left let's get that up there like that 
see why it's definitely better to tie a knot and your bows off the roll because you use less ribbon. I always give myself way too much. So do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> All right, so there's our knot. Trim those ends. And then we will add our sequins. So we're going to bring in those orange and yellow over here. And then we'll do two of the yellow towards the top, one up here, and one little one over to the left side. All right, congratulations, you just made 13 cards. <laughs> Fabulous job. Okay, we're going to move on and we're going to do our gift box that they go in. So um, just get your scissors and your bone folder and some strong adhesive and we'll get started. Okay, my friends, we are on the last step. We're going to create this cute little box that will hold all of your cards. Um, you can choose. I gave you your Poppy Parade label. This is from the Hippo Dies. Um, Oh, that's a big one, huh? <laughs> you must have gotten a larger one, too. Um, so you have a poppy parade and you have one for white. So we didn't put the cards on your box because we wanted to give the option that you could put, you know, a gift for you, um, thinking of you, whatever it is, um, on your label. So if you, whatever you want to put on there, you can, you can stamp on there or print on your label. All right, so you should have in your kit... Your Memories and More card, this one is the one with the florals on it. It was four by six. I cut a quarter of an inch off of one end. So this is four by five and three fourths. So this is gonna be the decoration for the top. You should have a piece of basic white thick that is 10 by eight and a half. And then we're gonna score that. And then we have a piece of smoky slate. This one is eight by six and a half. Oops, that's not right. I forgot. This is a weird, funky, little funky measurement. This is six and five eighths by eight and one eighth. I'm sorry. Six and five eighths by eight and one eighth. And then this one is eight and a half by 10. All right, so let's do the box bottom first. So on the uh, boat on all four sides, you're going to score each side at two inches. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and do a two, and then two, oops, went off the rails, two, and two. All right, now this is our box bottom. For the box top, we're going to score this one at one inch on all sides. So we're going to go it's all the way over there. Um, one. And one. This will make a nice fit for that top. All right. Now, once you have all of your scoring done, we're going to trim a little bit. This is a really versatile box, so you could use this for all sorts of things. So I'm gonna go in with my paper snips and I am going to trim. It doesn't matter which way you trim, as long as you do the same on all four sides. So I'm gonna go in from the side to the intersecting line there on all four, okay? So let's see, let's go right about here. I'll go up like that. I'm gonna trim a little notch right there go in and a little notch then we'll flip it the opposite side if we're going to do the same thing we'll go in trim a little notch and then here we will trim All right, so we're going to use our bone folder and we're gonna burnish on all of our score lines. So just fold in. Make 
sure you get a nice little crease on all of your score line. This is really important when you're doing boxes. You want to make sure you um, burnish so that you get that nice shape. If you don't, sometimes it'll bow and it doesn't look quite as crisp and finished off. Okay, there we go. So there are all of our sides ready to go. So you're going to want to use strong adhesive. So I suggest tear and tape or um, best or fast fuse. I keep saying that. Seal plus or some liquid glue. So I'm going to put some uh, tear and tape here on my little tabs. And they are going to be adhered and hold our box closed. All right, make sure those are nice and burnished. That adhesive really, so it's gonna hold nicely. Pull off our little backings to release the adhesive. Like so, and then we'll just start folding. So we'll fold in our little tab and we'll square this up with that score line right on the edge. And we'll just go around the top and go on all four sides. Oops. Give us a nice squared off box top. Ready? Now we're going to do the same thing with the box bottom. Bring this in. Actually, I'm going to use my larger scissors for this one. So we're going to come in from the side. Actually, it's hard for me to see. Let me find just a little bit so I can see. <laughs> there we go. I can see that much better. All right, so we'll come in from the side. We'll go up to the intersecting line and then I'm going to uh, just snip out a little section there. Go to the next one. Do a little slit. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. I can see it. to the right of the score line and doing the little notch out of the tab. I don't want to do the notch out of the long rectangle, so make sure you're doing the little notch out of your side tabs. This guy here. All right, and we'll do the same thing. We'll go in and burnish our scores. about this class is like I said before there are so many memories and more kits that you can choose from so you'll have lots of choices you can go in and make cards for all different occasions with this little just this little kit alone and some cardstock how cool is that we only added a few embellishments but man oh man they are stinking cute cards so anybody would love to have them my mom is always excited to get a box of cards to keep on hand. She, My dad always said she should own stock in Hallmark. And then I had a Stampin' Up! business. He changed his tune. <laughs> He's my supporter. Alrighty. We'll go in and we will burnish these, make sure they're nice and stuck down. No bubbles in there. And then we will start to release the adhesive, like so. Come down here. 
I like to do mine all at once. Um, just makes it easier when you're going back through because you'll have one that's adhered all together and the other one's kind of stuck laying down on the table. So I do all of my dots. All right, so we'll bring this over, square up our edge, give it a little press, and just make your way around the box bottom. Like that. like it. All right. There you have it. Here's our lid. The lid fits on perfectly. Look at that. And then you can decorate the top of your box how you'd like. Like I said, I used my four by six card with the florals on it and I just trimmed a little bit off of an edge. And you can see with mine I went in with some ribbon and just did a strip underneath. So that made it just bring out that pool party just a little bit. And then use those dies on there with, you can do whatever sentiment you'd like. And then you should put some sequins on there for a little sparkle, because you know that finishes everything off of it. <laughs> all right, so all of your cards will fit right in your box. I hope you enjoy creating this. I hope you'll make it again and again. And uh, just have a great time. But I thank you so much for joining my class and I hope to see you in class again soon. All right, have a magical day.